Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. It's going to take 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 29th of August. And we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the extended CFS and ESHEM ensembles. We're going to try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. Next four weeks gets us into wars, the middle part of September now. I'll get some of that for you in a moment to save that first video release day or 6am UK weather forecast with release the week ahead forecast and the EC42 day check out all today's videos and content thank you so much everybody for doing that I've had family time uh, this afternoon so I am very very late with the attendance of day. I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to get one done, actually. Um, but uh, I am going to do the 10 14 day for you, and I'm going to crack on with it right now. I hope you're having a lovely Saturday evening. Very, very rare to get a 10 14 day this late on a Saturday. So let's see how we get on. Right, to start our central temperature, the CT is currently sitting at 16.6, .6, which is getting on for one degree above 61.99 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 18th of uh, August. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Let's have a look at those. So looking at London today, the red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off around a bit above average at the boat. Just stay a little bit above average through the middle of next week. And then we get a drop in the upper air temperatures as we approach the back holiday weekend. Next weekend, things are cooling down. So returning to or going below average into the closing days of August, possibly lasting into the opening days of September as well. So, days wise, can be lots of dry weather over the next few days, but by the end of next week, turning more unsettled, certainly turning more showering. The most showery dishes look like they last then through to uh, months and possibly even, even into the beginning of September, although that, of course, is a long way off and is therefore speculative. Temperature anomalies on the 19th, 27th of August are going to be a little bit above average, not a big deviation. Precipitation anomalies from the 19th, 27th of August, wet average in the north, and a little bit drier than average down in the south. Late wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows we've got an area of low pressure in the Atlantic storm. Oh, Betsy, Betty, Betty, <laughs> I'm so sorry, away to our north and west, speeding in these uh, southwesty winds. How was Storm Betty being everyone? <laughs> right, well, let's have a look at the chart data then. This is our latest UK Met your run is looking for big night on Tuesday. We're going to have a low pressure from the north, high pressure is going to be to the south. And uh, this way we'll be bringing shadow conditions into the north. But the main drive this is down in the south through the rest of next week. You gradually find a trough of low dropping in from the north. So up to the middle of next week looks basically quite dry and warm in the south. A little bit showery up in the north. And then the second half of the next week sees a deterioration as low pressure drops in. Or a trough of low drops in from the north. That brings showers and or longer spells of rain. And uh, pretty cool temperatures as well as winds are turning into the north. So that looks pretty mixed for a bit of bank holiday weekend. It uh, gets a Saturday between six. Uh, on to Icon. So, again, on Tuesday, high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. And uh, that low pressure will bring shower conditions to the open up to the north. Main dry, quite warm in the south. Then the trough digs in for the second half of next week, bringing showers and or some longer spells of rain too. And as we head up to the end of the Icon run, which gets to be day next Saturday, we've got quite a deep low pressure between uh, the east coast of the... Uh, England and uh, Denmark sitting in the North Sea bring in this north northeast wind. Only could be bringing showers, lots of spells rain will be to the east anyway, and will be bring cool temperatures with it. The uh, GFS midnight run again with low pressure north, high pressure south on Tuesday. Through next week, the trough of low pressure gradually drops its way in from the north. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That doesn't look very good for Bank Holiday Weekend, does it? Low pressure knocking around the country. Knocking around, bringing showery conditions and cool temperatures. Well, a cool, showery Bank Holiday Weekend looking very likely then. Beyond that, right at the very, very end of... Um, of uh, August to the beginning of September. High pressure starts building to our northwest and low pressure begins to drop away to the south. So eventually we start getting some high pressure going through the opening days of September. Finishing up looking like that, anticyclonic, that's the fourth <coughs> excuse me, that's the fourth September. Looking anticyclonic, quite dry and warm by then. 
But yeah, that six set once more shows that trough of low pressure in the north for the open half next week. Mate, drop south through the country into the second half next week. Cool and showery north north finishing winds Friday through Saturday and on into sunny and back Friday Monday. Look at this 28th of August. Another low is coming in. This time from North Atlantic. That will bring wet weather through the back Friday weekend. I'm so sorry to begin with you this news. You got any plans for the back Friday weekend? If you're going away anywhere, you've got any other plans, showers and a long spells rain and cool temperatures as well for the bank holiday weekend. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And um, then we're going to the beginning of September and just start to raise pressure a little bit to the south and the east again in the opening days. Could there be, be a bit of a trend here for some higher pressure to bring some dry and warm weather through the first week of September? Certainly won't be the first time that's happened after a mixed summer. If you've enjoyed the, or if you've enjoyed the video, if you haven't enjoyed it by the end, um, then please Please take you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We need to put on around 20 subscribers now. That's all, 2025, uh, to get ourselves to 16.7k. Please give us a sub to your friends and family to subscribe. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. You should be see future web content if you do that, including future long range. We've got our last autumn update coming up for you tomorrow. Wow, wow, wow. GM, once more, with high pressure to the north, high pressure south on Tuesday. And the trough dropping in through the country, which is the eastern side through the last stages of the week on into the weekend. We start getting some low pressure coming in from the north Atlantic. That's been showery conditions into the north and west, but the south she could say mostly dry there into the bank holiday weekend. Not quite as unsettled with the GM as like the GFS output the bank holiday. And then the Eastern WF looking like this. High pressure south, low pressure north on Tuesday. Um, relatively dry and warm through the first the middle part of next week, but then again, so all the other miles really low pressure dropping in or a trough dropping in in the second half of next week that brings showers and or long spells of rain with it and those showery cool conditions carry on them right the way up towards day 10 and they carry on over the bank holiday weekends as well this is a precipitation forecast based on their Eastern run from tometro.com showery in the north not that bad in the south until we get to the end of the week and then we've got showers and long spells of rain across most parts of the country at the end of next week and that carries on into the bank holiday weekend as well further shower reverse to continue these are the options on the table within the ecm ensembles today uh four day 10 from the icelandic met office gets us to the 29th of august 15 members of the ecm ensembles with low pressure dropping in through western europe from the north atlantic jet stream doing something like that cool and showery 13 with low pressure over to the east country high pressure out in the atlantic again looking quite cool and showery for that one 11 with deep low pressure over and to the east country again cool and showery possibly cool and wet with that 10 with low pressure over france again winds coming in from a cool or very cool northeasterly direction that looks unsettled and two just two going for something completely different high pressure uh, through Scandinavia, so that's mostly dry and warm, but only two dim out there, that's a big outlier, most of those members, on some members look cool and unsettled, or cool and showering in 10 day time, in two weeks time, these are the options that we've got, gets us to the 3rd of September, 13 members of the ECM on some with some high pressure to the south, lower pressure to the north, then we've got 12 with deep low pressure right over top of the country it's in combination with a mid Atlantic ridge, oh dear, um, 10 with low pressure in Scandinavia, high pressure ridging in the Atlantic. It could be mostly dry. Winds might be up for a rather cool northwest direction. Right? Eight with low pressure just to our west. Six with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. And two again with deep or high pressure, or strong high pressure, should say, um, over to the east coast. So that's going to be mostly dry and warmer with that one. So a range of options. It looks like things are favouring very unsettled conditions at day 10. A range of options for two weeks out. We might settle things down as we get into the open days of September, but it is by no means certain that we will. CFS V2, finally, is the 500 middle bar height. So let's bring down three pins. The first pin takes from the 19th to 25th of August. Coming week has high pressure to the south and around green, so we'll lower pressure out in the Atlantic. So it should be quite a bit of dry weather, but this low increasingly um, perhaps bring unsettled conditions towards the end of week. Week 2, 26th of August, 1st September, trough of low in low Scandinavia, mid Atlantic ridge winds in from the northwest or from the north. That looks cool and showery. Week 3! <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. Well, it's going to be the second of the eighth of September. Low pressure between Scotland and Norway. High pressure still in the Atlantic. Again, looks rather cool. Uh, potentially a bit on the charity side as well. And then week four will be the 9th to 15th of September. So it does get us to mid-September, actually. Uh, with high pressure to the north and in the Atlantic. Low pressure is probably coming through here, I would have thought. Uh, so that could still be a little bit on mixed side, but as it's four weeks away, it's not worth worrying about. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and share, share, everybody, do that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all that videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth's Webbies. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. Goodness gracious me, a 10 to 14 day in 10 minutes. I was wrapped in three back because I'm so late. So sorry, everybody. Um, Right, hope you enjoyed it, Mo. I bet you wasn't expecting me to get this up for you uh, today. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, very quick 10 to 14 day tomorrow. We've got 6 UK both forecasts. We have got the 10th and final autumn 2023 update. And then we're going to be live streaming at 6 p.m. We're going to go live and uh, I'll be answering questions, doing shout outs in the live stream. And uh, of course, then we will do a 10 to 14 day. Everything that you're seeing here at a little bit of a more relaxed pace in the live stream, followed by loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, 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 loads of long range from CFS and Probation Climate Centre running all the way to 2023 24. So I shall see you live at 6 pm tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening and for this one. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.